Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. And so we again say to you, before the message begins, that all is known in this room. Because each of you are a member of the rainbow. To create the white light that is here. And so we say at this point we're going to continue the message from Dr. Lipton. <laughs> but all that is, is complete in this place. There is nothing lacking. How could you ever say I have the creator inside and something's missing? Uh, there's nothing missing. And how many times have we said to you, dear human being, that your perception of who you are, of what is happening here, is the key to who you will be. And how many times have we said that the vibrational shift that is going on within the planet itself, changing the consciousness and vice versa, is the engine that is actually giving you new tools. And it's not linear. And it's difficult to speak of. It doesn't fit the human paradigm. It doesn't fit what you've been told, what you've been taught, even about spirituality. And so today we're going to give you information, we're going to give you advice, and we're probably going to offend you at the same time. Things are not always as they seem. There are shifts going on on this planet that are beyond the perception of what you believe could be happening. And they can be explained in physics, even basic physics, to help you understand so we're going to refer to the last published channeling and say that this message is an extension of the one that is currently published called Your Relationship with Gaia. And we're not going to repeat the things that have been spoken there. We are going to continue for the message is all about the shift. And what is the shift? And the relevance? <laughs> it's you. Gaia and human consciousness are working together because of an agreement that took place in 1987 looking forward to the galactic alignment of 2012. And we have told you what the shift is, basically, and we've used the words vibrational increase. Now that's awfully linear. And it's difficult for you to, to think about what is vibrating faster. But you feel it, don't you? And so we're going to extend this concept and give you a little more to think about. Your consciousness is mostly multidimensional. It comes from the over 90% of the chemistry of DNA, which being multidimensional, literally has a field around you which senses the environment. 
the spiritual environment. And that is changing and that is shifting. And it doesn't make sense to you, especially with a linear brain, to talk about vibrational increases in a multidimensional state where you won't understand it. So I've given you the example before to say you are speeding up. And in a linear, biased way, human beings think of speed as one direction. You get on the road and you go fast. And that's not the kind of speed we're talking about. We're talking about speed in a circle, in a very tiny circle, but it's still speed. Others would call it oscillation, but that carries with it another meaning. It means that you speed to one place, you stop and you speed back and you stop. That is not what we're speaking of. We're speaking of a vibrational increase with you in a circle. You are speeding up something that creates a multi-dimensional shift in your perception. And it is happening to human consciousness with Gaia's cooperation. It is a back and forth communication, not a one-way situation, for it is multi-dimensional. Multidimensionality is impossible to have a singularity of oneness, for it's everywhere at the same time. And in that, you are related to the planet, and there is a consciousness in the planet that you feed into what we have called the crystalline grid, which affects the vibration of the planet, not to be confused with the vibration of you. You're speeding up and you're going faster because of it. And against all odds that you might perceive, that means your time frame is slowing down. And Gaia's is not. It has a different vibrational attribute, a little more linear than yours. And all of this to explain this, you are moving away from what you've experienced for eons as normal. And it's not just for light workers. The entire human race is affected. All consciousness is affected. And when the Mayans gave you the information about a 2012 potential that allows a time fractal that opens the door for potential enlightened thought. When they gave you that information, they were giving you something, a bed to lay in, not a prediction. Free choice. Where would you be at 2012? Have you ever thought of that? When the galactic alignment took place, would you have already destroyed yourselves? Right? Well, you didn't. I came in in 1989 and I showed my partner the potential. I showed him peace on earth. I showed him human beings healing themselves. And he began to write when I told him to write and he began to channel and many walked out of the room and saying it is stupid and ridiculous doesn't make any sense don't you watch the news it happens slowly vibrational shift and consciousness happens slowly evolution happens slowly. So slow is it in many ways that the human conscious mind cannot grasp something that is past a generation that they have lived through. For the next generation does not get their consciousness. They relearn what they were told. If a human lived long enough, they'd see the trend. There is a trend. 
And it starts with what you're seeing in the children. A decade ago, we told you that there are children coming in with a different consciousness. They are more conceptual and less linear. And this is because of one thing and one thing only. Because of the vibrational increase of human consciousness, that is to say, that which is around you, which is spiritual, is vibrating faster. It is an environmental vibration, and the children pick it up, not from their parents. When they're old enough for the sanctioned thought of that is their own, they pick it up, and they become conceptual thinkers. And you didn't come in that way. And there is the rub, as we say, is that the linear meets the non-linear, and it's difficult to parent them, and it's, it's difficult to teach them. They're just a little bit more quantum than you are. Now that is evolution. And you can call them what they would you wish. They are children of new consciousness. That's what they are. And almost every child on the planet born today is one of them. They are also your future leaders. There is evolution going on. It is right before you. It's still denied. It's denied by psychologists who have a bias that we have discussed. The bias is this. This is it. Human nature is static. It never changes. Therefore, all psychology is about is learning one static human nature. And the more you study it, the better you get. And then there are the children. And it's upset the apple cart, hasn't it? They're looking at reasons why the children are different. And they've got names, don't they? Diseases. And then there's the drugs. I told you this would be an extension of what you just heard. I'll give you something you haven't thought of. Autism. You seen the increase? Have you seen the increase? And what do you do with it? Science has seen the increase. Doctors have seen the increase. And so what are they doing? What's wrong, they say. How can we control it? Must be vaccinations, they say. Must be some, must be the environment, they say. Something is causing a deformity in the mind called autism, they say. Now I'll tell you what it is. It's evolution. It's the way the nature works when it pushes the envelope of mutation to find out where it's going to settle with a mind that is new to the planet, a mind that is more quantum to the planet that does not have a linear structure. They're savants stuck in a linear world. It's no wonder the children are banging their heads against the wall, trying to linearize things when they have no linear structure in the consciousness that is theirs. They're way ahead of their time. And humans look and say, what's wrong here? There is an expansion going on. And the expansion includes an awareness of the Creator inside. Where were you 20 years ago? Would you have been in a meeting like this? Some of you, yes. Most of you, no. What is it that tickled that part of your consciousness that said, maybe there's something bigger? Maybe you ought to look around. It's the creator that you are. There has even been mass changes in human consciousness that you, you don't even give credit for. It's only several hundred years ago. When you look at war, it was about conquering. One nation has more soldiers or ships than another and runs over the other nation and conquers them. Up to several hundred years ago, borders kept shifting between countries, depend upon who conquered who and when. It's not the way it is anymore. What happened? 
War is still here. There are those who say, when will it vanish? It will vanish. There'll come a day when humans will look at it and look at it as archaic, barbaric, and see the, re the, the finesse of how humans should deal with humans. And there will be disagreements, even with peace on earth. And you work it out without killing one another. And it's coming. It's coming. Not in your lifetime. But does that matter? You'll still be here and you'll see it. Isn't that all right? Not in your lifetime. Not this lifetime. And I'll say it again, those of you who are so smug, you think you know all about everything else, you think you got it all figured out, you're saying, I've done my work, I'm not coming back. Yes, you are. <laughs> you know why? Because you don't want to miss the show. You work too hard for it. The shift is here. You work too hard for it. You're the leading edge. You wouldn't miss it. Who among you would miss peace on earth? Who among you? It's a dream that is on the way to fulfillment. It affects you, you know. It's hard to describe the physics of what is going on here. When you have a vibrational shift that is dimensionally within your cellular structure, your cells are uncomfortable. They're uncomfortable because suddenly they are in an environment that's different from the one they grew up in. Where are the receptors? <laughs> Where are the receptors on the outside? Just like you've been shown, just like we've told you, that is what you're feeling. A vibrational spiritual shifting that is so much faster than anything you grew up with. Lightworker, let me tell you what some of you are experiencing right now. These are symptoms of vibrational shift. And I'll give them to you, a little list of them for you. Number one, cellular imbalance. Now that is chemical imbalance within cellular structure, and I will tell you a number of things about it. Don't get all that excited about it when it happens because it's temporary. Unless you're shifting so fast that it shifts faster. Do you understand why there would be an unbalance? Because suddenly the environment is different and it must adjust. Constantly adjusting it is chemically in order to balance itself. It is self-balancing. Listen, it expected this. You didn't. Your cells know what's going on. But it takes several, what we will call full and complete cycles of rejuvenation for cellular structure to recognize the new environment and shift accordingly and balance itself. Meanwhile, your blood tests are everywhere. <laughs> cellular imbalance chemicals that are trying to adjust to a new vibratory rate. I got to tell you. And you'll say, well, I'm not aware of that. Okay, I'll give you some things you are aware of. Ringing in the ears. Hmm? Now that's a disease that is for old people, right? Well, then why are so many young people having it? As a name, they've called it tinnitus or tinnitus. Ringing in the ears, there is more going on here than you know because there's more in the inner ear than science even begins to expect. Far, far more. It's the center of balance, you know. Why would the ears ring? And do they ring with a low frequency? Oh no. They ring with a fine fine-tuned high frequency almost above human hearing that's why it's so irritating you don't hear it in the air do you you've never heard anything like it have you and yet it's there and it whistles to you it's the body adjusting to vibrations per second of how it works 
or let's say how it used to work in a new environment that is higher. And so it adjusts. It adjusts. Now this is all, of course, assuming that you're with the program of adjustment. Or did you just go to the doctor for some chemicals to get rid of it? Does this sound familiar? What are you doing with these things? What else is in the inner ear? I will give you something that none of you expected. Some of you were not are going to admit it, but now you know what it is, are having trouble walking straight. Hmm. You seem to drift to the right or to the left, depending on which is your dominant side. You don't have to raise your hand. I know who you are. Why would that happen? For the same reasons. What is in the inner ear? Let me ask you a question. Do you have any idea how many muscles of the body are involved in balance, in keeping you upright? What does that process involve in keeping you upright? The inner ear senses how upright you are sends messages, tens of thousands of them, to all the muscles in your body to stay upright, and yet you're having trouble with it. You can't walk a straight line. You might say you're drunk in the new energy. <laughs> and that would be accurate. It's your body adjusting to an environment it has never seen. Never seen. And what did you do with it? Did you find yourself in the doctor's office? Give me something for this, will you? Dear light worker, I want to tell you all of these things I'm talking about and telling you are symptoms of a consciousness that is aware. The kind of consciousness that would sit in the chair in the room and say, what is it I should do, dear spirit? to capture that which is love. And what did the doctor tell you about love? The same thing I did. When you are in love with another human being, it's all different, isn't it? We call it temporary insanity. You don't think straight, at least you don't think the way you used to think. And why would love do that? And I will tell you because that is the force between the nucleus and the electron haze. <laughs> it is the love of God that fills that space. And when you tap into love in any form, your body knows it. And when you tap into that environment, which is love, all of the things, including the chemistry, the ears, the balance, starts to make sense. And they say, oh, now I know. I just gave you one of the keys, and so did the doctor. How many of you are reprogramming your consciousness to accept vibrational shift? And instead of saying, something is wrong, there's more. Sleep. You're not getting much. You actually are, but it is changing. Even the portions of where science says your REM sleep occurs is shifting. You're waking up. You're waking up as though there was something wrong. Then you go back to sleep. Happens long enough and often enough, what do you do? Doctor, <laughs> I'm waking up. Give me something, will you? Let me sleep during the night. I need my sleep. Here's our advice. Let it alone. We promise you that this will change. It may not change the way you think. Let me give you an example. Let us say that you continue to wake up. 
Let us give you something to do. You wake up, you don't know why. Now you do. You smile. And you say, Blessed am I who can be on earth at a time when the vibration is raising higher. It's a small price to pay. Thank you, God. Let me go to sleep again. <clears throat> what have you just done? You've surrounded yourself with peace, with the love of God. What did you just do? You changed the environment around your very bed. No anxiety. No awakening. I have to get to sleep or I won't function the next day. I've heard this. I've heard you cry out in the middle of the night. Don't you think the angels around the bed know this? Why don't you greet him and say thank you for waking me up to love me. And you go to sleep. Headaches. You're having more of them. It's temporary. The human body is exceptionally complex. These are the symptoms that are temporary. Of course, the spirit temporary could mean numbers of years, but temporary. While your body adjusts to the environmental vibrational shift around them. Now I'm going to give you some solutions. You're going to wonder about this. I'm going to give you three. Interesting. They'll all be external. Two profound things that you can do. Here are the hints. Oxygenate. Hmm? That's one of the big ones. Look at what oxygen does in the body. Study it if you don't know. Take deeper breaths. Fill your lungs more often. Oxygenate. Balance is faster. You know what you're doing? You're actually giving your body information when you breathe. Did you know that? Did you know that the air you breathe is actually multidimensional? It is. That will be shown, that will be proven someday when they find entities in the air. Not entities, but life. It's vibrating higher. The very elements of the planet and Gaia are cooperating with your vibrational increase. Oxygenate. Number two water. <laughs> you didn't want to hear that, did you? It's not about being thirsty. <laughs> it's about lubricating everything that's going on. Water. These are simple, are they not? The breath, the water, and then the one. This which has been open today, that is to say the subject now is wide open, and that is now to give your body information about what is happening. Have you ever heard these terms from this stage? Talk to yourselves. Hmm? And what did the doctor tell you about who is in charge? You are. It doesn't stop there. For in this new energy, there is a profundity which has taken place in the recognition of energy work having influence on health and balance. And you saw the teacher Peggy on the stage. You know, she didn't used to be that little. Did you know that? What do you think she did in order to make her live longer? She changed the paradigm outside her body and the perception of who she was. 
she used the very process that she teaches to balance all that was around her. She fell in love with Becky Dubrow. <laughs> Listen to me. She fell in love with herself. There it is. And there it is again. What is your perception of you and who you are? Yayi, the good doctor, who paced the stage earlier today, now he's figured out a way to send the body information of energetics and specific communications through chemistry. The chemistry is the carrier. The chemistry does nothing. <laughs> Sorry. It's the information in the chemistry. It's the new way. Human beings are moving from a paradigm of reactionary chemistry where science puts in one chemical and the other reacts to it to informational and energy work where the body then receives information through energy and changes itself. And did anyone tell you what the body could do? It was brought up. The two words you heard, spontaneous remission, has no explanation at all, does it? Medical science doesn't know anything about it, really, until they study energy of thought. Isn't it odd that the placebo effect ruins so many good experiments? That's what they should be studying. <laughs> Why does a human being have such an effect on their cellular structure if they think it's going to work to the extent that they can have spontaneous remission of some of the most virile diseases on the planet? <laughs> That's what you should be studying. Think about it. And then we get into those places that are very esoteric. There is a new esoteric system of vibrational transfer of information from you to Gaia. We have, we have mentioned this before, but this particular channeling is where we reveal it in its fullest. The old system had birth and death and birth and death. And you were not able to transfer that which you had learned, the consciousness that was spiritual, that you had learned in your many years, it was not transferable to the crystalline grid of the planet until death. Until that which we have talked about, the trip to the cave of creation, the transfer into that crystalline grid, go to the other side of the veil, through a process of rejuvenation, you come back, we have talked about these things. Within your DNA, less than 5% of the proteins, you knew that. 5% is the engine and 90% is the creator. And in that creative energy is everything you've ever learned in every, every single time on the planet. It's all there, shaman. You sit there, you fold your eyes, fold your arms, you say, this is fake. You, you, you're rolling your eyes, you're going to leave, you're going to say, I'll never want to do that again. And never knowing, never knowing that in your DNA is the shamanic energy. I've said it before. The ones with the most spiritual power are the doubters. They just don't want to go there again because it didn't end well last time and that's survival and there's no judgment of you so if you're a doubter and you're sitting here today and you don't believe any of this is real I'm gonna ask you right now ma'am to go inside do you really really think you're alone <laughs> really can't you feel your history do you know you are your own indigenous 
ancestor. Can't you feel it? The vibrational increase in Gaia and in humanity has created a new system. It makes time seem to go quicker. And this is it. That the crystalline grid now receives the energy of the environmental attributes you are creating through your work immediately. You go to work. Somebody yells at you. Makes you feel about this big. Pushes the buttons. <laughs> and what do you do? You've rewritten the buttons. They're not there anymore. And you just look at them and smile. And inside your mind is saying, I'm sorry they're having a bad day. They must, they must have a problem. There's no, there's no flea. There's no defense. There's no coming back at them. There's no anger. There's no drama. And they don't get a reaction that they expect from you. And it takes them back, doesn't it? Now freeze this scenario. And I want to tell you, dear ones, I want to tell you something that the whole, the whole creative source knows what just happened. Here is a human being who rewrote the instruction. Here's a human being who's living what they were told is possible. Here's a human being who actually changed the energy of a human nature situation and didn't follow the old rules. You know what happens when you get enough of that going on and that kind of reaction? You know what happens when you reprogram? What happens when somebody pushes you? I'll tell you, you get countries without armies. That's what happens. Because you don't need them. Because there's no thought of pushing back. Because there's better ways. Much better ways. Elegant ones that you haven't even thought of. To get along with one another. And you're doing it at work. It's just the beginning of a larger scope of human nature evolution. And you're the front line. Let me tell you the last one. It's difficult for me to describe this, for this has the potential of offending. And that is not why we're here. Can I give you truth? Can you suspend for a moment what you think you know? With all of these things happening in this fashion, with all of the changes, are you not aware there are spiritual changes as well? And there are. There was a time when you could affect the planet and yourself in a very profound way by coming together and meditating literally for hours. Then taking a break, looking at each other in the eyes, meditating for hours. Then taking a break, coming back and meditating some more. Six, seven. The deeper you were in that meditation, the closer you were to spirit. And your thoughts would change, therefore, the potentials of what would happen. That's valid. All of it, all of it, it still is, except now everything is moving faster and I want to tell you something and you're not going to like it, you don't have time for this anymore. The vibration increase means you can do this in about 30 seconds. Hmm? What do you think about that? And you're not going to like that because there are those who say, I love the meditation. We'll continue them, but do it at a higher level. Do you know why those who are the team here put together that which is energy, that which is sound, and put it with the meditation? Because it accelerates it. And they could do in a few minutes what a room full of people took hours to do before. And there is no judgment. Dear one, if you wish to sit, 
and you wish to do this because it's comfortable for you and you wish to bathe yourself in the energy and I will say to you go ahead and take long baths it's okay there are those on earth who move who learned a long time ago where the things evolve technically you use them I don't know how many people of here have thought about this when you go home in a few days as many of you will get on an airplane and fly home get in a very fast car drive and then there'll be a few that get into the buggy with the horse and flip it. This can take you a long time. Does it get you there? Mm -hmm. Does it feel good? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not about feeling good anymore. It just isn't. It's about being the light on this planet that you came for. Don't be offended by this. Instead, think about it. It has evolved. The spiritual toolbox is bigger. Learn it. Do not criticize the ones you think have gone off the edge because they're doing things that are uncomfortable to you or too fast for you or that, that are energy works you've never heard of or, or those things which are out of the purview of what you learned 25 years ago. Dear human being, I am in love with you and I would not tell you these things if they were not so. Learn what is in the toolbox and you'll make the shift on this planet happen faster much faster that's my message to you today all of these things putting together every single attribute of the team members on the stage today human beings with practices with science with energy with sound with high conscious with meditation with song and now you know why. It celebrates the new environment. It cooperates with a higher vibratory rate. It makes you start to think about rewriting who you think you are. It's the standard message of Cryon. But now it's coming full circle. For it's starting to agree those who are thinking out of the box who have been trained in the bias of science in the bias of medicine and are now seeing clearly what the bias is blessed is the human being who can look at the environment around them and clearly see what no longer what is it that's old in your life that you'd like to just throw away? Why don't you just do it? Begin with me now. Rewrite the events of who you are. Be self-aware. And when you are, you'll find the Creator inside. And I'll be there. And so it is.